So we're at Cedar Creek Ridge Preserve and we are training for our 28 mile hike at Eagle Rock for our 25th anniversary. Woo! <laughs> 25 years. And we've got the homestead dog in training. <laughs> She's doing good. All right, here we go. Part of planning for the fall garden or preparing for the fall garden is cleaning out the mealworm bin. I raise mealworms on my dryer for my chickens and for fertilizer in the fall. So if you haven't seen how I raise them, I will leave a link to an article that I wrote um, in the description so you can check that out. Basically, I'm sifting out the mealworms and saving them for my chickens and to breed more mealworms. And what I'm harvesting is the frass in the bottom because it is great fertilizer for the garden. This is the frass. See that powder? That is wonderful for the garden. It's got lots of good things for the garden in it. So it's just gonna fall through the screen and I'm gonna get the mealworms for my chickens. Raising insects is one of the most sustainable things I do on the homestead. I raise my mealworms inside on top of my dryer. <laughs> Nobody even knows they're there. At first when my boys brought home girlfriends, I thought, don't let them see the mealworms over the dryer. And then I thought, well, you know what, it's probably not going to work out very well if that grosses them out, you know, so much so that they can't stand <laughs> coming to our house, so. That wouldn't be a good match, I don't think, for my boys. <sighs> Taking a break so Nala can water up. <laughs> And me. Yeah, we're gonna get water in a minute. <laughs> Gotta water the horses first though. <laughs> yeah, livestock always come first. <laughs> so how many miles are we walking today? Uh, we're just about halfway through, it's about three and a half miles, so around six or seven miles. We'll see when we get to the end of it. <laughs> So people have asked us some questions like, what is our training schedule? So we try to walk three miles, three or four times a week. And then we try to escape to come to Cedar Ridge whenever we can and do about six or seven miles. So, and then we were supposed to, August 1st, we were supposed to have our packs on. That was our goal. So as you can see, no, no pack here. So you guys have to get on me. If you see me in the next video, and I don't have a pack on. You gotta say, where's your pack, Dash? <laughs> we gotta get the packs on because we're gonna pack, when we hike our 28 mile walk, we're gonna hike in everything on our backs that we need for four, three, four days. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and that pack's gonna weigh, how much do you think? Uh, 50 pounds. 50 pounds? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, we better get the packs on. We go in November. <laughs> So, August, September, October, three months, yep. But boy, when you put that pack on, it feels like an anchor, it's just pulling you down to earth. It's so different. Mm -hmm. Okay, water. Okay, so I'm, some people have asked us, why on earth would you do this for your anniversary? How would you answer that, honey, while I get a drink? You wanted to? I wanted to. You want to prove something to the boys that you can do it. Oh, uh, yeah. I've done it twice. So. Yeah, yeah. I do have, uh, yeah, I do have four boys. So, um, yeah, the mom. That's not really it, though. The real reason is we want to spend time together. Absolutely. Together. And we both yes. like hiking. Just the two of us, yeah. yeah. And you know, it's fun training, too. We're training, we're together. Mm -hmm. We always, you know, we're out without the kids. And so it's like a training date. Yeah. <laughs> right? It is. We get to spend time together. Mm -hmm. Doing what we like to do. Yes. 
So that's why. All right, we're gonna get walking again. Bye. See you on the end. So as you can tell, part of preparing for the fall garden is to harvest my mealworms. I do this in the spring and I do it again in the fall. So I'm left with, let me show you. This mealworm frass is what I'm left with. This is amazing fertilizer for the garden. It'll go in all the beds to get ready for fall planting. The other thing I'm left with are these mealworms. Whole pan of delicious food for my chickens and something I can use to train them with to get close to them and to get them into areas that I need them to weed and clean up and whatnot. So I'm gonna get my bin started again. So I'm just gonna take my bin. And I'm gonna pour my mealworms back in. them for my chickens. And then I bought some wheat bran at the feed store. This is just five pounds. I put it in my freezer to kill any mealy bugs that were in it. You guys know what wheat bran looks like. They're gonna, they're gonna live in this and they're gonna eat it. I'm just gonna rip my bag to give them a little place to hide. And that's it, I just put a, like a potato or a little melon rind for moisture for them. They'll get the moisture from that. And that is so simple. I have a top, although I never see them climbing up the sides, but I have a top just in case nobody wants them escaping in the house. And I do raise these on top of my dryer, as I said. They're warm in the winter and they're nice and dry all the time. Tried raising them outside and it just didn't work out too hot, it was too wet, it was too cold, <laughs> lots of reasons. It just didn't work out. All right, back on top of the dryer. Look at how much mealworm frass I got for my garden. That is a bloom maker. It's got lots of phosphorus and phosphorus and potassium. It is a bloom maker, so I'm super excited about that. And I got mealworms for my chicks tonight. You definitely couldn't raise these if you were creeped out by creepy crawly stuff, but I'm not, so. My daughter, not so much. Now remember that mealworm frass that we got yesterday from the mealworm bin? Here it is. And the garden gets a liberal dressing of that every bed. So if you don't have mealworms, you really should consider raising them. They're great to feed your chickens, save money on chicken feed, save money on fertilizer. A great sustainable fertilizer for the garden. You're not gonna believe how this method is gonna turn into amazing food for your family. We made it seven miles. <laughs> Where are you out, Nala? 
Did you have a good time, puppy? <laughs> she she wants to get, get in. Dirty feet. Boy, she does. She wants to get in it, doesn't she? We finally wore out. Our hiking buddy.